Hello and welcome to polyplane.com. We're going to dive right in today. We're uh, doing a three-part modeling series here. The first part of this is going to be taper shear and then to bend and twist and then finally we're going to wrap it up with flow. This is going to be a three-week object manipulation series. So welcome and let's just hit the ground running here. So I happen to have a head scan of LeBron James, the basketball player, and um, I thought I would try the manipulations on his head because quite honestly, you know, I can show you cubes and spheres all day long, but once you start to see the stuff take effect on actual usable geometry, you can really get a better context of what's going on. Now this is an untreated scan, so his, you know, his ears look like they were attacked by a beaver. Um, that's just you know part of the scan normally when 3d scanning the modeler would go back and you know fix all this and you know clean up the mesh but for our purposes we just want to look at the base geometry and uh, really get an idea of what of all these tools do so the first two we're going to be talking about today are taper and shear now these can be found under um, if you click on move and hold it you'll get all these transformation tools. Now there's a lot of cool stuff in here, but today we're gonna focus on this one right here, taper, and this one right here, shear. So we'll start off with taper. It's pretty straightforward what happens. It's, you know, it is what it sounds like it is. Uh, you're, you're tapering an object, or you can do it on a cluster of points, whatever. And it's asking me for the object, so I'm gonna click on the head and hit enter. Now this is kind of really important. Um, if you want to taper the top, like you want that to be smaller or larger, you have to start at the bottom, click towards the top, and then you'll get this little reference point line come out from the bottom of the first point. That's sort of just a secondary reference point. So wherever I click, it's going to be using that reference point, wherever that is down here, as as sort of the gauge of how to scale this. Now, there's a couple of options that you need to play around with here. First of all, I want flat and infinite both on yes. And what this is going to do is it's only going to affect one, uh, one axis. And that axis happens to be happening from the front. And you can see the right isn't being affected at all because this is sort of like uh, what we did with scale 1D where you're only seeing it happen from one dimension or in this case two, but uh, it's not affecting all three dimensions when you have flat and infinite on. So let's make it right about there. Uh, that, looks, that looks interesting. Um, I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna type taper or you know select it down here, taper. I found that if I do this really far out, you get a much more kind of softer taper see it's it almost looks like a scale 1d um, when it's that far out and the reason it it's that far out is because it's referencing from that first point I clicked on way down here to way up here and so it's a much more broad type of thing if I do this really tight say I go from there to there and then I do it it's gonna be much more exaggerated and it's only gonna affect a certain area of the head we still gotta get through sheer let me demonstrate the shear tool on the cube because it's a little bit easier to grasp here than on, on anything else. This is shear. It's really rudimentary, but you know it's kind of cool if you need to do some sort of crystalline, sort of funky, angly stuff. Um, I don't use it that often, but we'll do it on the head just for fun. What you're doing is sort of moving points opposite of one another almost looks like a rotation. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So you can see what the shear tool does. It's, you know, not the most exciting tool, but uh, I wanted to get through these so that we can start talking next week about bend and twist. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a little more interesting, but uh, you got to learn the basics before you can learn the advanced stuff. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.